Upon the end of hostilities of World War II and the transition to a time of peace, the U.S. Army Air Forces established the Strategic Air Command on March 21, 1946. Known by its acronym worldwide, SAC was originally headquartered at Bowling Field in Washington, D.C., and was commanded by General George C. Kenney. The United States Air Force was established as a separate branch of the military services on September 18, 1947. With this historic change came many developments and modernizations of the old Army Air Corps. On May 28, 1948, General Kinney met with base officials announcing that Offutt Air Force Base had been chosen as the host base for the headquarters of the Strategic Air Command. With the move from Andrews Air Force Base in Maryland, command of SAC forces and fulfillment of its mission was taken by General Curtis E. LeMay on October 19, 1948. The growing threat presented by the Union of Soviet Socialist Republics and the Cold War demanded that a strategic response be formulated. During the ensuing years, SAC, under the command of General LeMay, became an omnipotent force that entailed a triad of nuclear defensive and offensive weaponry that encompassed air, navy, and ground-based missiles. In December of 1956, the headquarters building and underground command center for SAC was nearing completion. Seeing the need for security of these sensitive areas, General LeMay tasked the 3902nd Air Police Squadron to select and develop a group of men who would be specially trained to provide security for the command center. This group was initially known by the name Detachment A and was composed of hand-picked air policemen from the 3902nd Squadron, as well as selected air policemen from other SAC installations. In 1957, General LeMay, Brigadier General David Wade, Headquarters SAC Chief of Staff, and Major Herbert Meyer, commander of the 3902nd Air Police Squadron, successfully led a drive to select and procure a uniform for Detachment A, which was basic yet unique. It was composed of issue tan herringbone twill khaki trousers and shirts with jump boots, white neck scarf, and white boot laces. With this, the unit's personnel looked much like any other military group. The addition of the cross draw 38 and holster combined with the wearing of the blue beret with the sack crest affixed, helped the unit achieve individuality, distinction, and an air of professionalism. Over the years, changes in Air Force dress standards necessitated changing the colors and combination of this unique uniform worn by personnel of Detachment A. But the uniform and its accessories became known and respected around the world. The title SAC Elite Guard was selected in May of 1961 when the Guard was formally recognized and added to the unit manning document of the 3902nd Combat Defense Squadron. In addition to the security duties, these outstanding elite men were tasked with honor guard and ceremonial duties. Added to the complement of this distinguished unit, a silent drill team was established that traveled the width and breadth of the command, displaying their unique talents. Each guardsman was chosen for his professional demeanor, job knowledge, and marksmanship. This elite group has seen over 50 years of successful service in the security of SAC STRATCOM headquarters.